Uh, well, I would say the first uh, answer I would have is uh, the awful start to the game that we had. You know, that, that starting group um, not being ready in, in, on any area, in any area. Um, so obviously I, I went to our bench quick uh, and I give our guys credit because after that disaster start, you know, tremendous second quarter, we get ourselves back in the game. Um, I challenged our guys about the rebounding. We, and we won the rebound battle tonight. Challenged our guys about defending the paint. Did a much better job in the paint tonight. But it was uh, the three-point line really hurt us. They made 16. Uh, too many breakdowns. The Jaron Jackson Jr., obviously credit him. He was five of nine uh, from the three-point line. And so we had, in a, in a one-possession loss, you think about just a play here, a play there. And we had too many breakdowns, Katie, that, uh, really impacted us and our ability to win this game. Um, and then, you know, I told our guys just now, uh, you know, Nicole is a, not a good player, a great player. But every time he comes out, everything just falls apart. It's every night. And I went to him in the fourth quarter and I called his name. And he looked at me kind of like, already? And, and, and I feel for him. But, I mean, to close the third quarter, I think it was a 5-0 run. Start the fourth quarter, 6-0 run. 11-0, part of an 18-3 Memphis run. Um, Nicole is going to be worn down by Christmas at this rate, and and that's unfortunate. So I have to, you know, do my job to try to you know figure it out, you know, try to help that group, that unit, mix and match, try different guys, whatever it is. But uh, we we just have to be better when Nicole Jokic is not on the floor. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're not going to get a better shot than that. I mean, that was guys executed the play off the board. So I give them credit for that. You know, we got Nicola in the paint. How many times have we seen him hit that shot or a shot like that? Uh, and I, as I told him in front of the team, I will live with Nicola taking that shot regardless of the result a thousand times out of a thousand. You know, you got the MVP taking a shot that um, is, is definitely in his, you know, wheelhouse. Um, what did he say? He said he got hit on the arm. Yeah, I mean, so uh, we'll look at it. But tough, tough game down the stretch. Uh, I, I credit our guys for battling, as I mentioned earlier. But you, know, you can't play three quarters. Yeah, you know I mean, in this business, to go on the road against a good team, uh, you have to play much closer to 48 minutes than we did tonight. Yeah, I was just, um, and we'll look at it, but, you know, I, I didn't know Desmond Bain was a salsa dancer, you know, because he was on that sideline, you know, uh, moving quite a bit. But, you know, uh, Brandon, one of the officials, you know, uh, Brandon, Tom, and Carl uh, overall did a really good job tonight. We told him that we thought he was he was moving along the sideline. Uh, he didn't think he was. And obviously, um, you know, you move on to the next play. So we had a chance to tie it at the end. Uh, in light of our disaster start, in light of everything, and we just came up short. But the lesson in this one, Katie, is you cannot wait to turn it on. And the starters have a responsibility to get us off to a much better start than they did tonight. It's your world, Katie. I mean, Mike Singer's not here. Mike Singer, I don't know where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need from them. You know, I can sit here and say I'm proud of them, which I am. I can say great job, Will, but, you know, we needed that on Monday. And the best thing about that conversation with Will is he realizes that. He knows that that was his worst game of the season. He owns it. He doesn't, you know, resist it and fight it. He, he owns the fact that um, he didn't bring it on Monday night, and that was a big part of us not playing up to our level. And I just, you know, really, really reinforced with Will his impact is important from a leadership standpoint, the longest tenured Denver Nugget player um, from defense, rebounding, playmaking, scoring, energy, all those things. And obviously for Will, you know, uh, and I took the starting four of the five out early in that first quarter. And Will came up to me. He said, coach, I want to play. I can't speak for anybody else, but I want to play, man. Get me back in that game. And to his credit, I mean, he had 26 points, seven assists. Made some big plays down the stretch, knocked down four threes. 
Um, so I, I, I'm glad that he responded the way he did, but that's gotta be Bill, Will Barton every night. And, um, and, I, and I look forward to seeing that as we move forward. So it feels like we've been on the road for a long time. Uh, it feels like we've been in Memphis for a year. Can't wait to get home, uh, see my wife, see my girls, sleep in my own bed, get some rest and get ready for Houston on Saturday. All right, appreciate it.